Today's topic is about why Android screws up the mobile video game and this is a specific topic I was dealing with the last couple of days and weeks. I compared the last couple of weeks the iOS version of Filmic Pro and also the native camera app with the Android version of Filmic Pro and the native camera app and wanted to see how the results ended up uh, with Final Cut Pro and it led to two things that I encountered or two issues that I encountered. First of all frame drops, second was uh, the issue of not constant frame rates or not at all the aimed frames per second. I will show this issue to you uh, in Final Cut Pro where I can examine the frames per second and also can see if there is some stutter while filming. Everything on iOS is perfect, so 60 frames, 30 frames, 24 frames per second. And that's MOV files, so it shouldn't be dependent on MOV versus the MP4 format, because it's just a container format and not anything related to technical differences rather than um, file extensions. I also tried different apps like uh, Bacon Camera and Open Camera on Android, but nothing changed that much. I also tried to get stable frame rates of 60 frames per second with 1080p and also 30 frames per second, 24 frames per second and every time I film with Filmic Pro or the native app those frames are not exactly the frame rate I set up except for two things like the 25 frames here as well as the 30 frames First of all, the 25 frames were a selfie camera shot with the OnePlus 3G. So this worked out better. And the other one was done with a Nexus 5. And that's a native Android version or more to say the vanilla version of Android. And I don't know why frames are differing that much. Seriously, don't know what's wrong with this. The good question is, what's the problem here? Samsung, for example, has a different uh, camera framework or driver or a customized one compared to the native Google phones like the Nexus 5, Nexus 5X, Pixel and so on and so forth. And also uh, there is a custom framework by OnePlus. So this could be one of the causes of this problem and that's then due to the manufacturer to just get rid of it. It could be a complete Android problem because Android has a new camera API. There were former API of the version 1. Now since I think Android 4 or 5 there is the camera API v2 and that means they uh, try to cram in a lot of new functionality but if it's lacking some features there and stability of course then this would be an Android problem overall. Third of all, it could be something uh, which is related to frame rates which are not that common or widespread on Android phones. So you have the usual frame rates of 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second and that's it. And what Filmic Pro is doing and where it's really lacking uh, stability and frame rates is the frame rates which are differing from the base frame rates like 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So this could be a problem as well that uh, the app Filmic Pro for example can't handle that much of different frame rates on Android compared to iOS because on iOS it's working quite well you set 24p and it's 24p on Android you set 24p and it's for example 22.32p. So one thing I encountered as well was uh, when Android is filming a video, it's favoring exposure and video quality against the frame rate. That means that the frame rate can vary from time to time. So for example, in bad lighting conditions. So in good lighting, you have usually higher frame rates. In bad lighting, you have usually a bit lower frame rates. So this would somehow match my findings with the varying frame rates because it's really differing from time to time and from lighting situation to lighting situation. So what I also tried is uh, just installing a custom ROM. So I, what I did on my Android phone, I installed Lineage OS for example, that's uh, the successor to CyanogenMod 
and it's quite easy or straightforward and you get a more vanilla like feeling of Android but it doesn't help that much. I searched around and I found a an, uh, ROM which were also customized a bit from the standard Lineage OS and did a lot of improvements to the kernel and to uh, the camera module and camera drivers but it didn't help. This leads to a lot of problems because when you want to do uh, editing film on a semi-professional or professional way you get some sort of unstable frame rates. You can't do slow-mos when you do 60 frames per second, you can't do uh, stable cutting, you get frame drops when exporting out of Final Cut Pro. Even though they are already frame drops they will sum up somehow over time. And the last but not least is uh, the thing that maybe the hardware is not at all appropriate for doing semi-professional stuff. So this somehow uh, strengthens the theory of iOS is more the designy, filmmaker, creative OS compared to the mass consumer market OS of Android. The people won't uh, import something into Final Cut Pro or iMovie or Premiere. Uh, to do professional cutting and they won't recognize the problems which are uh, somehow inherited with these uh, frame drops and with these uh, yeah unstable frame rates at all. So how to solve this? Um, I'm really thinking of getting an iOS device now that my contracted neural is around the corner and to just jump back to iOS even though I like Android more because of the usability of the soft keys and all the more consistent usability throughout the apps mm, I think it's maybe worth a try. Um, on the other hand maybe there's some fix to it maybe you know it uh, just put a comment below would be nice to know and also it would be nice to know if you encounter the same problems on your Android device or even on your iOS device. I don't think that you will have these issues on iOS at all but maybe somebody encountered the same and knows what's the issue here. So that's it. Um, hope you liked it. Hope it's a bit informative when you're doing semi-professional filming or YouTubing and you are uh, dependent on stable frame rates and you encounter the same bullshit somehow. Maybe also give me a comment what is the uh, usual case with uh, Pixel phones or Pixel 2 phones because they are the native supported Google versions and they should usually end up getting better and more stable frame rates. And also maybe you have an answer to the fact that the front camera sometimes performs better for constant frame rates rather than the rear camera which should be better because the camera sensor overall is better. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.